Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Comic Book Nostalgia. I'm CB Nostalgia, and we have a full report on DC Films from Warner Brothers Discovery CEO David Zaslov. Well, in case you didn't know, today was the big call for Warner Brothers, where they gathered with investors and highlighted what they have going on and what their plans are. Now, a ton came out of this call, and I wanted to break down some of the big deals that I noticed, what I think's going on, and what the future of the DC Universe might look like. A lot of the gloom and doom might have been a bit overblown, or at least we were more worried than we needed to be. But now it appears we know kind of what their plan is, and it appears DC Films is up, rolling, in something brand new. Now, it wasn't until late in the presentation that we finally got to what's going on with many of the DC Films. Now, this wasn't available to the public, but there have been multiple reports that have highlighted what he said during the call. Now, before we dive into that, though, I wanted to take note of something very interesting. There was no DC Studios announcement, but it does appear to be actually happening. Now, as many of you know, Zaslav has said for a long time that he wants DC to kind of stand on its own like Marvel Studios does for Disney. And when they were presenting various graphics to the investors to detail their upcoming plans, DC was actually listed as a studio along with Warner Brothers and WAG and many of their other studio products. This is a pretty big deal because I can't remember the last time they did this and it does seem to be a bit of a change at the top. Considering the news we got about Alan Horn, We'll get to that in a minute. This really will be a big deal, I think. We're just going to have to wait and see how it all pans out. Now, when Zaslav started speaking specifically about DC, he did tell us a lot of information. First and foremost, he made it pretty clear that a lot of the upcoming movies are all safe. Aquaman, The Flash, Shazam, and Black Adam all will drop in theaters. So I think we can breathe a bit of a sigh of relief for that one. Now, he did not make any mentions of some other films of lesser known characters. Blue Beetle, Zatanna, and Black Canary were all totally absent from his statements. I don't want to read too much into this, but knowing he wants to focus on the high-profile characters, I still feel like this spells some bad news for some of those projects. Now, the same goes for a lot of streaming shows, but fortunately, they did seem committed to keeping HBO Max. Now, we have no updates on things like Titans and Doom Patrol, and I guess we should be kind of worried about some of those, but as long as they have HBO Max, they're going to need content for that platform. So, I think the shows still stand as good a chance as any of getting renewed. We did hear recently from James Gunn that Peacemaker was safe, so I think the streaming show situation might be stabilizing some. Now, there was no announcements for new content, so sorry. No Young Justice news, but at least this part of the presentation wasn't catastrophic. Now, David Zaslav did make some really big points about upcoming DC projects, how they would be handled, and what the future will look like. First, he will not release anything he doesn't believe in. So it's either full buy-in or nothing. To be fair, there's been some, well, half-assery in the past at Warner Brothers, and it appears the era of that kind of nonsense has come to an end. Now, what this means is hard to tell right now, but it's very clear he likes the core characters, and I'm sure that will likely guide his hand in most of the decision-making process here. He also talked about growing the DC brand and the characters, but he also made it very clear that he intends on protecting them. This should make some fans happy because just the mention of protecting some of these classic characters is good news for long-term fans. I'm not really sure exactly what this means, but it could mean sticking to the core of these characters that quite often some movies deviate from and pretty much break the character's connection to the audience and fans. This to me is a sign Zaslav does kind of understand that and hopefully is an indicator of good news for things to come. Now, the biggest thing he had to say was, DC has a 10-year plan, and it has been inspired by Marvel Studios. He absolutely seems to recognize the massive cash cow that is the MCU, and of course, they want it too. But let's be fair, they always have. But this time, it seems he has committed to a plan, and he even has somebody already working on it, Alan Horn. Now, Alan Horn was the chief creative officer at Disney during that 2010 era that saw the rise of Marvel Studios. He knows what Marvel Studios did and how they planned it, so he might be the perfect guy for the job. Now, one of the things that makes Kevin Feige, Kevin Feige, is his understanding of the Marvel material. And I'm not too sure how well Horn understands the DC material, but he seemed to back Feige when it counted over at Disney, so I do feel pretty positive about this. Like I said, there was a lot of stuff they didn't tell us. 
and a lot of worries were not addressed. We talked a little bit about Blue Beetles, Titans, and Doom Patrol, none of which were mentioned in the presentation, and we didn't get any updates on the Green Lantern series. I also am still a bit worried about Blue Beetle, but they are leaving many films on track, so that should be a sigh of relief for fans. Now honestly, I do wonder about a 10 year plan to build their own MCU and what that may look like. It is super hard to put the horse back in the barn once he's out. Most of these franchises already have legs, and it really seems like a difficult road to be starting down a path of a full reboot or restart. But a 10 year plan does suggest a lot. The MCU from 2008 to 2018 is almost all of the first three phases. That's a ton of storytelling, so I'm not too sure how they're going to put all these pieces in that box. I mean, honestly, I have a ton of questions, and that would kind of dictate what to expect from DC films. For example, how many movies per year are part of this 10-year plan? Is this a two-film-per-year release schedule? Three? Four like Marvel Studios? Are we using all the same actors? Are we going to have to recast key characters like Wonder Woman and Aquaman? And what about actors who have already left the roles, specifically talking about Henry Cavill and Ben Affleck, who, although coming back for Aquaman 2, doesn't appear to have any plans for the character in the future? Is this a new world or story, or is it a continuation of the movies we've been watching from DC Films over the last couple of years? We're getting ready to get Shazam, The Flash, Aquaman, and Black Adam, so are all of these movies part of that 10-year plan? Or does The Flash kick off the 10-year plan? I mean, the 10-year plan sounds great, but we don't have any details yet. The only real path I can kind of see for them moving forward is to take a page out of the comics and pull a literal New 52. The New 52 followed the Flashpoint event, and I'm definitely not suggesting going full-on New 52 with these characters. I know how people feel about them, but the rebooting and restructuring of that framework in the comics worked for a lot of fans, and quite honestly, Things like Justice League War, the animated movie, really might be the kind of structure moving forward that we need to bring all the characters into alignment and start moving that 10 year plan down the road. Now I do suspect we're going to get a lot more news from DC Films over the next couple of weeks and I'm really hoping Zaslav reveals portions of his plans before too long. We still are hopeful we're going to get a DC fandom 2022. And the information he gave us today would be a great kickoff to a full plan reveal at that event in about two months. Hopefully the fandom happens again this year. Obviously we're going to keep following DC Films, so if you want to get all the updates and news, especially around David Zaslov's 10 year plan, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and ring the bell for all the updates. But until we know more, what do you guys think? How do you feel about David Zaslov's breakdown at the WB Annual Investors Meeting? And what are you hopeful for to be included in this 10 year plan? I have to say, there's no way to do this without Superman. Tell me what you think in the comments below. If you like this video, make sure you hit like, click subscribe, and if you don't ring that bell, you're not getting any updates. Peace.